Good afternoon guys, welcome to Box Hill in Surrey. We are currently 30-ish kilometers south of London, central London. Box Hill Surrey is run and owned by the National Trust and the National Trust look after many woodlands in the UK. We're out today with the Fujifilm GFX for the first time. We are shooting this high contrast uh, landscape in front of me. I'll flip you guys around in a second just so you can see what I'm seeing. I've been shooting uh, the GFX today just for about three or four hours now and the JPEGs that are coming out of this are just absolutely amazing because we haven't actually got the update for Lightroom yet to process the RAW so it's only currently JPEGs. I'm still shooting RAW. The noise, the rendering of the noise is just completely different to a full frame sensor. It's the first time I've actually used a medium format sensor so I'm completely new to this whole system. The, the noise is like a very very smooth cream, creamy kind of a noise. It's not that nasty pixelated noise. It's a very, very smooth um, transition. The sun at the minute is out, as you can see from my face, but it does keep dipping in behind the clouds, comes out. So it's going from a flat light scene to a really, really high contrast white scene. I'm currently at 723 feet high, which is about 224 meters high. So I'm just waiting for the light to dip down behind the trees, just so it eases off a little bit, so it's not so harsh. Oh guys, I've just actually uh, packed up and come down a few hundred feet. I wasn't really feeling in the position I was just in. So while I'm walking, I have a quick chat about like photography, creativity. Photography is like most things in life. The more and more you practice at it, the, the better you, you will become over time. And that, that's the key thing. It's going to take time. You won't wake up one day and just be great. Like your job at work, you didn't just wake up and was great at it. It took time to learn that skill. Same with photography. Photography is a skill, but you can learn, but it, you need to put in the time. So you need to be outside in the rain, the sun, the snow, when it's cold, when it's warm, just to build up your, your, a progression to build up towards where you're supposed to be. So yeah, I'll just, I'll just recommend, just, just turn, even turn this video off now, just getting outside and, and just being outside in nature and witness this beautiful place that we call Earth. It, it, it amazes me how beautiful still this earth is despite all the destruction and uh, damage that we, mankind has done to it over the time. It's, there's still pockets of beauty everywhere on earth. You just need to get outside and find them. Oh, I feel like a camera camera is giving my back. Need there though, need there. Hey guys, so we've just come down a few hundred feet now, down about 500 feet. Just setting up this scene right now. I've got my trusty little light meter here. I love using light meter. I mean, you could just come in and just off the bat and just wing it. But I just want to get the right image first time. I don't have to be taking 50 shots and just taking one image. I want to get it right in camera first time. This is now calibrated to the camera. So the camera, this will see what the camera sensors can see and what it's capable of seeing without losing any detail. So I calibrated the um, Sekonic, I'm using the Sekonic uh, L758DR light meter. So this was recalibrated yesterday. It's got two profiles in it at the minute, one for the Sony A7R sensor, and now obviously now one for the uh, GFX sensor. So I'm gonna take an ambient reading uh, right now. I wanna shoot at F8. The, the, the light falling on this scene right now at f8 i need to be shooting at 160th of a second let me just do that so i don't forget so 160th okay so i type in 160th into the camera uh, on this one you can actually put it into memory so if i click the side button on the side and click mid tone that's my mid and then i can then turn this dial into the spot and it's a one degree spot meter so whatever you point at it's going to tell you the light that's landing on that subject so the brightest thing out there is the cloud. Let's click him. And that's saying uh, 1250, 1250 of a second. So I type that into memory on the side and I'm still within the range. So it can, it, I know this camera now can capture that highlight at its current settings and not blow out. So then I, then I look back at the scene and I'm reading the light. What is the darkest thing in the scene? It's probably gonna be that selection of trees just down there. So then I, I look through the spot meter, press the button, and it's coming out at 80 for a second. So then I type that into memory, and that's it. I now know there's the range. I now know that my camera can see uh, all of that, and I'm gonna be capturing 
all this detail in the shadows and all of the detail in the highlights without blowing anything away. And it's as simple as that. It's just one, one exposure, one shot. That middle one was obviously my middle exposure that we took and I put that into memory. Then I took the, the, the brightest cloud, the brightest thing in my scene and I put that into memory. So that one goes just to the right of there. Then I took the darkest thing, which was, which was, which was the trees. So the trees were the darkest thing in the scene and I saved that there. But if you see just to the left of that is another little dot, just to the right of that another dot, that's actually what the sensor can see. Because obviously the camera doesn't know what you want to photograph. This, I can move this around and individually find out the exposure for individual highlights, individual shadows. The camera is going to be constantly wanting to um, find that 18% middle grey constantly. And it will just expose for that. And just a quick note, when you, um, don't delete any, any images if you can. Try not to delete any images when you're out in the field. Because the JPEGs, when you, when you review your images, like this image I'm reviewing now, the histogram, the histogram here is, is based on that JPEG. There's currently no camera out there that I know of that can read raw files. So they just produce a JPEG and then the histogram is based on that JPEG. So just bear that in mind, like when you're out in the field, that say if it was blown out, don't like worry. Don't go, don't go crazy and go deleting a load of images. Wait till you get home, check the histogram of the raw file and you often find that you still got detail there. You, you hadn't clipped anything. You hadn't blown, blown the whites out or the, or the shadows. So just bear that in mind when you're out in the field. I'm just currently waiting for the sun to come out. It, as you can see, it's quite cloudy out today. It's quite overcast. Well, it's not really overcast. It's quite, it's quite a lot of broken cloud out today. So the sun just like bursts out and then hides behind, just as about to take the picture. And because I'm doing a panoramic, I need the exposure to be fairly consistent. So I've got to be really, really quick. So I've currently got on a 0.6 ND soft grad. Uh, I'm shooting the 32 64 mil. So there you go. So there's my, roughly my view, so what I'm focusing on. And the pano is going to go from there all the way around, three or four images to about, I think, there. So what you can do, if you've never shot mirrors before, you can punch in. I always manually focus. So, as you can see, if I turn that backwards and forwards, it goes in and out of focus. Um, but it's still bitterly cold out, still really, really, really cold. Um, it looks warm, that's the thing with the UK, it, it often looks warm, but it's not warm. The sun, the sun, the sun, where is the sun? Come on, sun. So it's just behind me, off to my shoulder there. Oh. Sun. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Talk to you in a minute. All right, so, one shot. It's, so, it's such a nice feeling when you get, you know, I wanted to light, there's a, a small house in the distance, and the sun just did a shaft of light just on the house, and everything else is all like underexposed. But the house is perfectly exposed. That's, that's amazing, I, lo I love, coming out i love coming out when it's like this so that's it for today guys i hope you've enjoyed today's video let's thank box hill sorry for treating us well thank you box hill thank you box hill the weather's been absolutely amazing a bit temperamental at times showers wind really freezing cold bitterly wind i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will catch you in the next one peace